What's up everybody, this your boy Trayvon here with Scent Talk TV and today I'm going to do a full review on a fragrance from the house of Parfum de Marly. Now, this is from a discovery set that I got in Chicago. If you haven't seen Scent Vlog, Scent Vlog episode four, you can go see that and you will see where I got it from, from a store called Perfume Don. Amazing store, amazing uh, manager that's there. Check it out if you're in the area, but without further ado, let's just jump into it. I don't have the bottle, but I do have the sample that I use today as my scent of the day. So can't show off the bottle, unfortunately, because I don't have it, which I probably will end up getting anyway. But from the house of Parfums de Marly, we have Parfums de Marly. Wait a minute. There we go. Carlisle. This is the sample that it, I use today from the discovery set. If you can see Carlisle, there you go. Here is a discovery set pouch that it came in. On the back, it has the list of all the fragrances that's inside of here with the, the, uh, the ingredients and all that good stuff here on the back. When you open it up, it has a card that has the list of the bottles of the fragrances that's inside of here. Drop it, there you go. I use Carlisle today, obviously, so we're gonna be reviewing that one. So, what do I get out of Parfums de Marly Carlisle? This fragrance is amazing. It smells so good. It's potent, it's rich, it's sweet, has a fruity, smooth vanilla to it. It puts me in the mindset of a, some, a couple of designer fragrances. You know, it puts me in a mindset of La Nuit de Lone by YSL. It also puts me in the realm of CH Man Privé, as well as Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP. If you put all of those fragrances inside of one bottle, that's what you get to my nose when it comes to Paul Farms de Marley, Carlisle. So let's just jump into the notes. So in the top, you get nutmeg and some green apple. That nutmeg and the green apple in the top meshes so, so, so well with each other because you get this sparkly, sweet, you know, cinnamon type of a vanilla uh, nuance when it comes to that nutmeg and with that apple, making it like a creamy vanilla, smooth, sweet apple with a little touch of some fruitiness from that green apple that smells terrific in the opening. For some reason, I don't know why I get like a subtle smoky accord or like a smoky leathery accord that sweet. I have no idea why, however, once you get into the mid notes, you get some tonka bean, tonka bean and some rose. Now you do get somewhat of a, you know, feminine, masculine, also masculine type of a rose, but it's leaning a little bit more feminine when it comes to that uh, white floriness to, of the rose. But it's not too noticeable that will throw you off because it's too feminine. But the tonka bean gives it like a dry, fruity, somewhat of a, you know, soft, sweet spice from that tonka bean that's kind of fruity as well. You get some more dry fruitiness once you hit to the mid of the fragrance. That top carries all the way through into the mid and it meshes well with that tonka bean and that rose. And throughout the longevity of the fragrance so far, that's all you that's all you get is like this this familiarity of La Nuit de Lome and Dolce & Gabbana the One EDP as well as Sweet uh, CH Man Privé. But it's more so of a La Nuit de Lome and Dolce & Gabbana the One EDP, but not entirely because this fragrance does do its own thing, but. Once you get into the base, finally, patchouli, dark, sweet, mysterious type of an earthy touch from the patchouli, then you get some more vanilla. Now the vanilla here, sweet, rich, smooth. You get some, you get some of a sweet vanilla smoothness from that nutmeg as well, but it's a little bit of a, like a sparkly sweet spice from that nutmeg. That and that vanilla meshes so good with each other to the point where it's like this fragrance is just, Dope, all the way, five out of five in my opinion. Is it worth full retail? No, no, because you if you can find it cheaper somewhere else, do that. But it does it smell like 200 or $300? Yes, it does. Is it worth it to me? No, because if I have some money to just throw around or money to just blow, 
yeah, I'll buy a bottle of it, but since I don't, I'm not. But if it's for a good price, definitely would buy it. If I had the money, I would definitely buy it for retail because it smells that good. But no, I wouldn't buy it for a bottle for retail. So the performance, the performance was actually pretty outstanding. I got eight plus hours out of this. You know, I had to test it out in a high heat, but when I was indoors, it was still pushing out great sillage. The, uh, the projection was good within like an hour and some change, probably like an hour and an hour and a half. Then it said close to the, uh, to the skin. It really wasn't a skin scent, un, skin scent until it hit like the two to three hour mark. So this has great projection, great performance, and great sillage as well. Compliments I did not get, at least not yet. But the, fa the, the accords and the way that this smells, you will definitely get compliments from this fragrance. Seasons to rock this fragrance, you can do fall, winter, and spring. High heat, no, 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 no. If you work outdoors or you do a lot of outdoor activities, this is not a fragrance that you can wear for outdoor activities in the summertime because in my experience, which I tested today, I work outside, that I was sweating a lot. So, you know, having this on my skin, it sweated out my pores and stuff like that, but I had it on clothes, but it was still doing quite nice on my clothes. But when it comes to like, you know, the, like the high heat and sweat, no. Was it cloying? A little bit just a little bit but on me it was it was pretty nice once i got into like some ac it actually did pretty uh nicely it just kind of like shrinked the projection kind of shrinked a little bit but it was still doing its thing but just to uh sum it all up for the seasons to wear this spring fall and winter time summer nights you can wear it on summer nights where it's cool now age group you know i think it has a high versatility when it comes to ages you know it doesn't have a lot of uh you know, complexity or any type of an issue where it's too mature, too playful, too sweet, too this, too that. You know, it, it fits in all age brackets to me. So whatever age that you are, if you like it, wear it, it doesn't matter. In my specific opinion, I will say all ages. Should you buy Parfums de Marley Carlisle? Yes, you should. Sample it and try it for yourself, it's amazing. So that's all that I have for Scent Talk TV, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, you know what to do. You gotta like, comment, share, and subscribe, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. And I will see you guys in the next video. Be safe out there, be blessed, and have a good one. I'm out of here. Peace. Ooh.